Hello, hello. We, are, we live. are live. We're back at it. And welcome to developer chat number 10. The the weeks are just flying by. And I don't know if you can hear. First of all, could somebody just give us a thumbs up that the volume is actually working? Two people um, here, two leave people us a little note. That would be fantastic. And um because you know we sometimes have glitches computers you can't live with them and you can't live without them but uh, i don't know if you can hear i'm a little bit stuffed up and i've been fighting this silly little summer cold like what the heck is that i gave it to you that's true you did give it to me so thank you for that honey Sorry. your your undying love and your germs so thank you again for tuning in to our 10th developers broadcast Ten. and um yeah 10 is also the the number of my favorite doctor who doctor oh wow well we might so get into that doctor who news this week yes big doctor who news this week we have the unveiling of jody whitaker as the 13th doctor 14th if you want to get technical about the war doctor because oh, wow. there are those people there are those people but um i'm excited i'm excited to see uh, uh a woman in the role to see what happens i haven't been watching it for the last little while because we've been really busy with what we're doing yeah. And it'll be really fascinating to see a new doctor, and I look forward to tuning in. So, yeah. How is everybody doing? Say hello. Don't be shy. All right. And, of course, we have to remind you that next Friday is the big exciting Friday. It is the Friday that Charlene will be here with us live. So if you have not asked your questions, Thank then, you so much for all the questions you have sent in yes. so far. They've been great. We're making a list of everybody's we are submissions them all. so far. Please get yours in if you'd like to. Uh... And they don't have to all be related to Lily Bard either. They can be related to Midnight Texas. I mean, obviously, that is the thing that is everybody's most excited about. And um, well, we do Lily Bard here. We do, you know, what's Charlene's favorite video game? I bet you've always wanted to know. Oh, oh, that's a good question. I'd like to know. Um, I would love to know how many games that she's played. Like, does she play board games? Does she play digital games? Sure, sure. Uh, I There's wanna... some great storytelling games out there that I would, you know, just to be able to sit down with my favorite writers would be a blast, right? Well, and I'm kind of curious, like, how nerdy is she? Is she nerdy? Is she more of a reader? Does she watch TV? You know, that kind of thing. So I'd be... She watches True Blood. Well, yes, yes. And... Um... So again, if you have questions for Charlene, make sure that you leave a question beneath our podcast and we will make sure that we check that out. What and else is happening next week? Next week is exciting. Like Charlene right now is at Comic-Con in San Diego. Yes. And Blair and I were invited to be on our on a panel to talk about writing and games. We were on a panel last year at San yep. Diego Comic-Con, but because we're working on Charlene's game, we didn't feel like taking a week out of our schedule to go was it was hard it, it was, was a hard really decision. hard so there's we, so much midnight stuff going on there right now like do you want to do some of the screenshots oh yeah sure so uh, you just chat while i yeah i know they've out. got um so you can if you know comic-con they have the um so here's the tweet um from the official nbc twitter uh, visit Midnight Texas at Comic Con. Mm. <laughs> so. And um, <laughs> you're doing it again, my love. I'm trying to help, but I know. But they also have like a whole thing set up for Midnight Texas, and this was some promotion stuff that Charlene did uh, last week or yeah, so. Yeah, she's been. They, people have been watching the, stuff. the first and second episodes of Midnight. Yep. And, um, and like San Diego Comic-Con itself is getting really super excited and showing off. Like there's an entire exhibit for Midnight Texas. Mm -hmm. So that's super exciting. So this is right across from the exhibit, the exhibition hall. Yes. This last year, this was a South Park simulation. Do you remember that? I do. I do. So and is it not appropriate that this year it's Midnight Texas? It's... Why? What does South Park and Midnight Texas have to do with it? Well, because you had the town of South right. Park. You could get all the pictures. Whereas with this, you can walk right in and experience Midnight, the town of Midnight. I'm I'm uh, I'm excited wild? to watch. We're going to have to find a place to go and watch it on Monday night. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we'll live tweet it from the Lily Bard account and from the One More Story Games account. 
And um, so we can all join in on the experience of, you know, hashtag Midnight Texas yeah. and, um, and get in on having people talk about Ask Charlene as well. I'd love to know who else has read the books, if, they're, if people are already familiar with the story and sort of what they're looking forward to and hours. No, uh, three hours. Three. East, West Coast time. No, I know. Yeah, that's three hours. Okay. Three and a half hours from now, there'll be a book signing with Charlene and uh, in the cast. And it's five uh, o'clock there right now. Yes. So, oh, was that five o'clock? Five o'clock. Oh, I, was, I was thinking it was 1500. No, no, no. That's what that was. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're right. You get to be right once. Um, <laughs> so there's a book signing happening right now at San Diego Comic-Con. And you get to meet the cast, too. You get to meet the cast. And let's go back over to that. This, who, this right here. Who would you want to meet out of that group? Um, I don't really know the actors all that well. Or the characters, or well, and I haven't read the books yet. I've, I've been, I've been busy working on the the Lily Bard series, and I haven't gotten back into. I haven't even finished Shakespeare's Counselor. I started it last week, and then I, well, we got busy. We got busy. I've been re-listening to. Midnight Texas, so I've been having a blast. So if you're going to be watching the Midnight Texas premiere, it is happening this Monday night on NBC, and you're not going to want to miss it. There's there's a lot of cool, exciting stuff happening around that, and I know that Charlene is she's super busy. Like she's got a lot of stuff going on. She's a I think a new book coming out in the fall, if I'm not mistaken, and a new possibly a new Aurora Tea Garden in September mm. and, and now she has the game coming out as well and and uh, Midnight Texas so she is a busy busy lady yeah she's flying all over the place so okay so can I can I say sort of one more thing I don't know can you <laughs> I, I've been rereading the Midnight Texas books uh-huh. do you want to go over to yeah. the uh so can you spot Bobo in there? Well, you already told me that Bobo's the guy in plaid. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's Bobo back there. Um, Over here. That's right. So did you see the link I sent you with the... Uh, I, I did. Like, he's a suspect or something. Yeah, he's a suspect least, okay. to begin with. So All right. they're not sure about him. But uh, I, I'm super excited to see what they do with the series. Charlene series have, have been successful with the Aurora Tea Garden series on Hallmark. And also the True Blood series, which I have started watching again. Oh, yeah. Since, uh, I think it was last week or the week before. Well, last week we did sort of the like, little call out to you know, uh, Nelson, Nelson Ellis. Nelson. Yeah. yeah, that was, and so that got me back into watching. So I'm on season two. Oh wow! Okay. Of uh, True Blood, I may have just left it going on, and um, I totally agree with you, Megan. I wonder how close the TV series will be to the books, and that's something that you know we would love to ask Charlene. Uh, there's a number of articles and interviews that she's given, and we posted one earlier this week on the page. She's talking about how you know when she sort of gives her books to these production companies to to create their own vision what does that look like so we have already sent our package off to charlene and she loves the art she loves the direction that we're going with and that's all i'll say about that we'll we'll she's excited let's put it that way yes and we're of course we're always excited very much so yes yes we love what we do and and bringing sort of charlene's world to life is is a lot of fun It is. Really enjoy that. It is. So we do have some new and exciting announcements. And I don't know. um, For those of you that are in the games industry, uh, I'm just going to zoom in on Kate here. But Kate, Kate Edwards is the former head of the International Game Developers Association. And she's a phenomenal lady. She, um, gosh, Trying to keep up with that woman's travel schedule was intense because as the International Game Developers Association had, she needed to be all around the world to connect with other video game companies and, and really spreading and solidifying the message of not only indie games, but, you know, the AAA studios and getting them into all of the corners of the world. So Kate is coming on board as one of our advisors. And I know that it is huge. And and Kate's been watching us for the last three years. We've, uh, we're super excited that she's coming on board. She's such a great, I mean, she has, she's in Comic-Con right now. 
Uh, is she a Comic Con? Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. Yeah. She's she's dressed up as game developer Barbie and Thor again. She's she she, she cosplays. cosplays. Yeah, she time. cosplays yeah. as Thor, and um, I love her cosplay. Oh, and she cosplays as Indiana Jones. That's one of her other yeah yeah. You know she's very tall, so Kate is like, Arr! she is um, a Valkyrie, very much. So. She is, she is, and it's, so it's great to add another really amazing woman to our advisory committee, and yeah. she joins. Um, Megan Geyser and Megan is the former head of her interactive and her interactive created the Nancy Drew series, which we all love, love and adore. And that's been a big inspiration for us to, to sort of see how you turn a mystery game, mystery book into a mystery game. And that's, well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Jillian says, I think Kate is Wonder Woman today. Ooh. I am looking forward to seeing that cosplay. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing that. So we're, we're very excited. And we have, you know, we have some, we have some men on our advisory committee as well. Um, we have Sean Smiley from Planet Fiction Studios. We have Chris Adams from G Shift and Alex Pay, who is the head of mobile and market development for PayPal Canada. So we have some really great people that are helping us think bigger and be able to reach more of a global audience as well. The big call out to Sean Smiley, who, I mean, I worked with him at EA there for a uh couple of years we worked on ssx3 back in the days so if you remember those late night sean you know but uh but yeah no it's great to actually build a team around you of great people who are as passionate as you are well and we've had a lot of new additions to our team so we have who's sarah that other person down there <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh sarah jeffers has come on as one of our narrative um narrative designers she's working very closely with you mm -hmm. and uh working with neil as well and we also have an artist uh, Harrison, who's come on board. Hey, Harrison. Welcome so, board. So, yeah, that's super exciting. So our team is growing. And for those of you who uh, parlez français, I would like tu for you français? to know. Tu parles français? Uh, je parle un peu français. So we will be releasing the game in French uh, within a month of the launch or sooner. So, en français. Uh, oh, yes. Valerie. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Our friend. Oui, oui, oui. We, Yes, I know. My stand-up comedy is like, shh, don't go there. Don't make a joke about the wee-wee. Um, that's a whole other podcast. Oh. That's a whole other podcast. So that's like, super exciting. And um, so, you know, I feel like this week is it's kind of like a quiet week for us because we've been really busy working on the art. That's right. And we do love to show sneak peeks. the sneak peeks of the art. Okay. Here is the sneak peek. Are you ready? Can I get a yeah? All right, I'm going. <laughs> this is going to be the hallway of Shakespeare, Shakespeare Gardens. Shakespeare I, Garden Apartments. Shakespeare Garden Apartments. So you've got your mailbox. Yeah. And this is Mrs. Hofstetler's apartment. You know, it's so cool because we really had to think about where everybody was in relation to everyone else. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is Mrs. Hofstetler's. This is, do you remember who is number one? Who is number one? Uh, well, sort of number, the back one over there, that's Pardon Alby. Okay. No, no, that one. This one? That one's Pardon Alby. He's right by the door. Okay. And then across from him is the Yorks. Right. And then that's the O'Hagans. That's the O'Hagans. All right. Wow. <laughs> Where'd that come Okay. From? This is the outside of the Shakespeare Garden it Apartments. Awesome. It does look awesome. I really love the attention to detail. Like, look at the stained glass window. Well, there's another shot where you go and stand outside the door. And oh. I could have put that as well. But And you can see right into Marie Hofstetler's apartment. I love that. Okay, can I just say I'm totally geeking out? The attention to detail, because Marie Hofstetler's curtains... That is exactly that's, it. That's exactly it. And... Um, did we show her kitchen? I think we're gonna keep that under wraps. No, we're gonna we're not we're gonna show that just yet. Yes, her kitchen is hilarious. So, and as we fill out more of the details, that you know that will update and yeah. 
Yes. So it's all sort of a, a work in progress. And as we go through and design each of the apartments, we want to make sure that the blinds and the, the draperies, everything's consistent, everything is consistent, but that's pretty much the look of the external part of the apartments. And I know that you've already been busy putting everything into story stylus. Yeah, we did that last week. We got, so we now have the playable demo world is now so you can move around it some of them are it's internal it's, yes, internal. it's internal yes. yes uh there's no story just yet we're working with sarah on that and so i know she's writers. working she's worked on the intro yep mm -hmm. and uh and then we'll get into some dialogue between mrs hostetler and lily and claude as well yeah so that's sort of the big scene of, of you talking to and then there's the whole sort of night scene of standing over the body and what do you do yes right? So we're working really hard to do all of the branching narratives of the choices that you can make. I'm super excited because if I'm not mistaken, we are going to have that image ready for next week. And that's kind of like the, the definitive that's the image. start of the game, right? That's the start, that of, the game. the start of the game. <coughs> okay. The start of the game, I mean, and it's really just to put yourself in Lily's shoes. It's like, what do you do? You're, you've got, somebody's used your car to move a body <clears throat> and now you're standing over this, this, this pile of garbage bag you find is, has the body in it. And what do you do? And that really opens up the world into all the different choices. And that's what we've been trying to come up with to sort of build out you know, do you report it? Do you hide the body? Do you, what do you do? And so these are all sort of all these other little choices that we build in. And then it's all of the different conversations that you should, you can have with the characters. You should be able to go back and visit Marie Hofstetler whenever you want. Yeah. And she'll just be talking about, you know, her random world. things. That's right. Random things. It isn't all just about the mystery per se. It's about bringing the characters to life. Yes. Bring the story let's, to life. Let's ask Mrs. Hostetler about the cherubs on her kitchen. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. On her That's kitchen windowsill. Yeah. You know, um, you know what I love about that that picture of where you have the the hallway there. Yep. What I love about that is that we've even included like little stains on the carpet. And there's going to be like... Lily will talk about the stains. <laughs> right? I don't think Lily and her clean freakness is uh, going to think think kindly on the on the stains on the carpet but these are these are things that happen in an apartment building over a period of time right well, any space right yeah but i mean and that's even in the book the um charlene describes how lily goes she has like the lily show as she's cleaning and it's sort of all of her little quips and sarcasms and stuff like that and so that's what we get to build we're sort of building that up and and it should be kind of fun as you play as Lily and sort of all of her quips and foibles and well, I have to tell you the other person that we've added to our team is the fantastic Jillian Mood and her team. They are Hi, Jillian, Jillian, uh, Jillian Mood and Partners is our PR company, and and also of course we have Brianna who is our uh, social media intern. Yes, so we have do. a lot of really great people who are jumping in to make sure that we're we're covered in all the ways. Um, helping us promote the Ask Charlene. So as soon as this episode is over, we're going to pop up with the Ask Charlene webcast. And you're going to want to make sure to click on Remind Me so that you don't miss that podcast because that'll be pretty exciting. Yeah. And um, and then, of course, Brianna's also helping me organize the, the big show-off party on October the 11th in Toronto. So if you're remotely close to Toronto or you've always wanted to meet Charlene, you know, we're going to have less than 150 people there. So you'll have an opportunity to, to meet us. Yep. We're kind of friendly, I think. We and put out the word to lots of other voice towns and stuff like that. Yes. And we'll sort of see where that goes. Yes. And, and uh, I actually was just talking to somebody today about doing an Ar Arkansian accent. Do they call themselves Arkansians? Yeah. Well, I guess so. It's sort of the whole region, right? Yeah. Yeah. So looking for voiceover actresses and actors who can who can bring that that world to life. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's a short podcast today, but I'm okay with that. Well, you're not feeling so well. And, yeah. and we'll have a lot more to show in terms of the stories really coming together. 
uh, I've been building up the spell checker that goes in story stylus so that we can consistently spell Hofstetler. <laughs> Is that an issue? It's an issue for me anyways. Okay. The other one I have this bizarre spelling. I, I put two P's in apartment. I don't know why. It's, I know. Apartment. I know. It just, it, I just, when I'm every typing, time. It's, I know. Every time. So I'm catching that everywhere. And, and it'll also help because when we did Daniel's Inferno, you were doing all the spell checking on that and you were cursing. Me I, you know and, what? It's, I'm, I'm not a grammar Nazi. But when it comes to putting stuff out in public, I really, 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 really yeah. am very particular about spelling. So and... we'll be able to check this as we go along and just, it, it'll be easier to maintain. Yes. So, especially when we do kids camps, <laughs> Colby, I'm looking at you, kid, <laughs> <laughs> who was a great kid during one of our camps and actually but came back could, to teach But it. was an awful, awful speller. Oh, and... boy. The kids made fun of him, actually. But well, he, he, he made fun of himself as he well. He did, yeah. He had some great stories about killer corgis and other stuff yeah. like that. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, for teaching kids camps, it's and, – and even then, we don't necessarily focus on the spelling. It's just about telling great stories, right? Yeah. So anyways, I think we're going to we're going to sign off unless anybody has any questions for us and we will see you next Friday at three o'clock with Charlene. Are you excited? Well. Well. Don't, don't say that. Don't jinx us. Okay, I won't. You just jinxed us. You need to unjinx us. Okay, it's going to be awesome. We might even do a, a shout out on Monday night with with Midnight Texas. Yes. We could, uh, I'm going to have to figure, maybe we can like live stream it. Um, there might be some copyright issues there. No, no, no. We can like, we can do, watch like, it we... and then we can talk about it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. If, okay. if anybody wants to watch that. So anyways, thank you all for joining us and hope you're having a, hope you have a great weekend. Yeah. We'll see you. Enjoy maybe... your comic con for people who are there. Gosh, we wish we were there. Yes. And um, we look forward to seeing you all next week when Charlene is here. Have yourself a great weekend. Take care, guys. Bye. That's it. Slow down. <laughs>